Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. In this video, I will talk about that how students can win MS and PhD funding in the USA. And by this way, they can fund their education free of cost. So stay tuned with me. There are basically three different methods via which students can fund their education. Either they can win scholarships or they can win assistantships that includes teaching and research. Now I will discuss all of these funding opportunities in detail. At first, I will talk about different scholarship opportunities. There are numerous scholarship opportunities to pursue your master's and PhD in the United States. For example, one of the most prestigious award that is funded by the US government is the Fulbright Scholarship. Fulbright Scholarship funds almost 1800 students worldwide and it funds students from 155 countries. I have many other videos on Fulbright and I also won Fulbright Scholarship for my PhD. So I regularly arrange sessions to help students to prepare their applications. If you are interested to apply for Fulbright Scholarship, check out my channel and you will find dozens of videos for each component of application for Fulbright. Besides Fulbright, there are plenty of university scholarships. Each year, every university funds hundreds of students through those kind of fundings. So if you are interested to pursue your advanced or graduate studies in the US and you are certain about your field of study and university or departments, so do check out their websites to see if there are any internal fundings available for international students. Besides that, there can be many other scholarship opportunities, for example, like this one that is AAUW International Fellowships. It promotes or helps especially women for advanced study in the United States. Then there is another scholarship called Joint Japan World Bank Graduate Scholarship Programs. This scholarship is funded by the World Bank to the developing countries and uh, it supports students who can pursue their graduate or advanced studies in different countries, including the United States. Another important scholarship is the Aga Khan Foundation International Scholarship Program. There can be many country specific scholarships that are funded by different countries. For example, if I'm from Pakistan, so I know there is a important scholarship called US Pakistan Knowledge Corridor Project that aims to send 10,000 Pakistani students to pursue their PhD in the United States. Uh, Department of Higher Education Commission covers that. Uh, similarly, India has different funding agencies. Chinese governments have different funding agencies. So these countries, they support their own students to pursue their masters or PhDs in America. So if you are one of those countries and uh, if you are an international student, so check out if your government supports you to pursue your master's or PhD in America. That can be an other uh, good opportunity. Now I will talk about assistantships. Assistantships are basically the fundings that provide by either your college or the department or the professor. For example, students who apply directly to the university. So when they submit their application, their application goes to admission office. Admission office then sends that application to the respective department or college. Each department then has a admission committee that further review and screen the application. And then it sends this application or route this application to the faculty members of that department. Faculty members review the application, essays, student CV, and any other document that is attached along with. And then the admission committee finally decides whether you will be able to get any of the assistantship or not. For example, if a professor likes a student's profile, but he or she doesn't have any funding up at the moment, what they can do is they can request the college or the department 
to support the student for at least one semester and then in the future they can support their students from their own fundings because there are many fundings or awards that the faculty actually keep applying and they are in the pipeline at the moment they might do not have any opportunity but in the future they can support the students otherwise if a faculty member likes a student's profile and wants to take him or her in her research group they can simply uh, state that they have enough funding to support and they are eager or happy to take students in their research group depending upon the amount or kind of funding and students profile the department then offers teaching assistantship where students are obliged to assist faculty members in their classes and in their labs in research assistantship students usually conduct research experiments that are basically related to their own research requirements for these scholarships and direct admission are all same american universities uh, they require gre now depending upon the field of study and university and the department there is an exception that uh, those departments are not accepting gre recently i have seen a trend that many universities and departments uh, they are removing this condition of gre so do check it out before applying that whether you need a gre for your application or not however if we talk about scholarships particularly fulbright they haven't waived off this option so you have must have gre before applying for fulbright or other scholarships but again their eligibilities and conditions they keep changing depending upon the situation in different countries so always check out the fresh and up-to-date eligibility requirements then TOEFL and IELTS these are language based tests so they are all always wanted uh, before applying to universities there are some essays including personal statement study research objectives and recommendation letters so these are the five key important components that are always required when you are applying either for scholarships or direct admission in universities and if you have all of these i recommend you to apply for both scholarships and directly into the universities if your profile is really good you will definitely get a positive response from the prospective universities where you are applying if you want to know more about all these components and how you can ace and crack these and prepare these essays and prepare for these exams and tests do check out my youtube channel uh, you will find a very detailed sessions on all of these topics so the scholarship season is coming in different countries uh, depending upon the education years so all the best all of you and uh, if you have any question regarding us or fulbright please mention those out in comments and i will be happy to answer those stay tuned and see you next time